Okay, day, guys. I wanted to make a Japanese rice lager. Unfortunately, I didn't have any sriracha hops, which is the hops I wanted to use, and I couldn't get them in Australia. So I tried lemon drop hops as a substitute. If you're interested to see how I went, stay tuned. Just pouring it now. Well, this is the beer I made, the Japanese rice lager. We'll go through the tasting notes at the end of the video. Um, but let's just talk about how I made it. Well, I used um, pale malt as the main um, fermentable, and I used 20% uh, flaked rice as an adjunct. Um, I used lemon drop hops as the uh, bittering hops and also the aroma hops. And I used Saf Lager 3470, which is my usual lager yeast, and that seemed to work well. I fermented it at 13 degrees. Now it's come up pretty clear. It's been in the keg for two weeks. So I wanted to use Sriracha hops, which is a Japanese hop. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it in Australia or where I am. And I, I tried places, but they didn't sell it. So I used lemon hop, lemon drop hops, because um, I believe they both are citrusy and they both are lemon, have lemon qualities and also um, have a similar profile um, in terms of uh, their attributes. But yeah, I'm pretty happy to how this came out. And um, yeah, let's see the recipe and the brew day. All right, so I was targeting original gravity of 48, a final of nine, a BU of 22, Color of 6 and an alcohol of 5.06. Added 77% pale malt, 19% flaked rice, and 4% rice holes. My mash in was 65 degrees for 60 minutes. Mash out 75 degrees. Added lemon drop hops at uh, 60 minutes and also 5 minutes. I used Saf Lager Yeast 3470. Fermented it at 13 degrees and then 15 degrees for 3 days and then chilled it. This was my salt additions in PPM. I'm adding my salt additions now to the mash water. I'm just making sure it's all, all in there. Now I'm adding my grain. So this is my pale malt. You can see um, the grind is not too Fine, but not too coarse. There's certainly um, husk present there. And giving it a good mix so there's no clumps. And this is my flaked rice, just mixing that in as well. And I added rice holes just because of the um, flaked rice I added, just to make sure I don't get a stack mush. So I'm putting the top plate on now. I use the old top plate with the um, silicon thing for the top and I use the roll plates for the bottom. I just find that works better for me. So now it's circulating and I'm opening it up just to see the, you can see how clear the word is at this stage. And now I'm ready to sparge. And yeah, just showing that. So flows through pretty nicely. Right now the boil has started. Um, so this is my hops, my lemon drop hops. And giving that a good stir.
And then I chilled it to my fermenter. And the gravity is 42, 44, 46, about 1.050. I was targeting 48 and I got 50, so not too bad. This is my Japanese rice lager. Experience, yeah, it has a white head. Um, my second pour, the head's not too prominent, but it does stay around and it clings. Certainly carbonated. Um, it's pretty clear. It's only been in the keg for two weeks. So I think another week and that'll be almost crystal clear. You can really see that is quite clear already. Um, it's a nice straw, golden or straw color, which is good for a lager. Um, aroma. Yeah, very clean aroma. Um, I'm getting slight lemon, slight um, citrusy on the hop aroma. Nothing in terms of esters, which is good. Let's go on for taste. Yeah, certainly the lemon citrusy on the aroma, taste wise, I'm getting um, spicy, spicy and zesty, and um, yeah, a, a bit of a lemon undertone there. Um, very crisp. The body is um, uh, good for a lager, and it's quite crisp and um, clean, clean, clean tasting. Clean, crisp, nice carbonation. Got a good head when you first pour it. Um, but yeah, it doesn't hang around that long, but it's not too bad. Usually what you'd expect. Yeah, I would have been interested to see what this was like with Sriracha hops, but with the lemon drop, I am getting lemon citrusy, fruity. I'd suspect Sriracha hops would be similar, but maybe a bit more woody, piney, as well as the lemon citrusy. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone knows more about Sriracha hops, put a comment in. But yeah, I'm happy with how this turned out. It's one of the best lagers I've made. It's clearing up nicely. Certainly tastes crisp and um, refreshing, easy to drink, what a lager should be. And nice aroma and very sessionable. Yeah, I'm happy with how this one turned out. It's quite nice, it's very enjoyable. One of the best lagers I've made, I reckon. Well, if you liked what you saw, please hit like and subscribe. And um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. For those that stuck around to the end, thanks for watching and um, cheers.